Hi and welcome back. So we now already have our short file here and um, that where we now want to apply Whisper. Um, let me briefly show you. Now you should be able to do So first some introduction melody. Hey there, it's Stephen Dubner and this is a bonus episode with Sami. Hey there, it's Stephen Dubner and this is a bonus episode. That's where we can double check then whether it did work or not. So we have the whisper inference. Um, we just need to hand over this one. And okay, and there are further things that I want to change. First of all, there are kind of what we did here. We took the result and just extracted the text entry. And I think um, we will need to have more than that because we also want to know which word happens at which second. And now I should be able to get it, but also we want to have ideally, um, there's an option verbose so that we can print progress. And that's an option here. So verbose equals verbose. Okay. So now I need to re-import everything and then check whether the model, um, so uh, result and where was, was already set to false, which should be okay. Okay, now it prints additionally the language and kind of the progress. And then let's see whether the Result is meaningful. Ah, okay, and we have a problem. We need to interrupt because it did not the short one and it actually did the MP3 one, which you can also do um, with Whisper, as we could see right now. Okay, and the result should be a dictionary, and the dictionary should have additional information, um, which we can then analyze in a new tab. So result, um, now it's finished. Okay. So first of all, we see the text. Hey there, it's Stephen Dubner and this is a bonus episode. So nice, uh, that did already work. Then we have segments. Okay, this is like the full text it seems and the segments give you like from start to end we have from zero to 10 seconds, we have this text. These are the individual tokens, like um, from the language model, how the individual words or kind of parts of words have been translated into numerical IDs, so to speak, tokens. Um, okay, here probably we would have also additional information like a probability whether there actually was no speech in that interval, probably. Okay, but what we are interested in is definitely kind of start, end, and then the text. Um, so let's kind of so result on keys. Let's look at the keys only. Text, segments, and language. Result segments. That's all this part. It's probably a list. So if we only look at one of this, then yeah, it's a dictionary. And then if we look at start, um, okay, we need start, end, and text, I would say. Okay, and let's just put that into a table. So for this segment in result segments, um, so this here is this segment. Uh, um, okay, we need this start equals. Ah, okay, we can. Mm, so we want to get it into a data frame. I'm just thinking about which is the best way to apply it. I mean, we could just. Let's just use all of it. I mean, tokens, um, we could drop. Okay, what we can do, so 
So we import pandas if we have it already. No, okay. So pip install pandas. We also put it immediately into our requirements file. Pandas as well. Okay. Um, so we can transform a dictionary directly into a data frame. So um, if I look at this sec, then it's a dictionary and like all the individual keys have only singular values except for the tokens. So this is a bit of a problem if you put it into a table, a rectangular table. So let's just drop that, I think. There's an option to drop um, so let's probably Google it. Um, Python dict drop key pop. Okay. Or we could delete it. I think pop should work. So on this sec pop tokens. Okay, and then it worked, okay. So this sec pop tokens and after that damn it, sorry. So this sec uh, PD data frame from dict this sec mm. okay that's um, I think I know how to deal with that so if you provide just a dictionary, then you would not get a index like for the row. So what you can easily do is, but let's just do it for a second and then see if that makes sense or not. So this df why is there sometimes no token? Was it like really killed all the way from here? But that will make sense. If tokens in this thing. I would have expected this to always be there. But we can also obviously check for it and only remove it if it is there. Okay, now this df. Okay, so here is where do we see the index? Probably here. So we can also. That's not ideal because you have one column where you have numbers but also a text, and then kind of it's not super straightforward which column type that should be. And I think there's another option um, orient. And okay, now here we have that zero index, which I think we don't care about. So all segment df list is empty, and in each iteration, we just append this data frame and then at the end we need to concat that full list x is equal zero and hopefully that works or sec df and yeah it seems to work so we get 
ID, which we can use as an index, which is pretty good. Then seek, I'm not fully sure, start and yeah, the text and all the other stuff we actually would also not really need, but okay, um, that's nice. So should we make a function out of it? Let's make def um, maybe whisper inference with segments. data frame. Okay, and then more or less we'll just hand over a name, f name. Then we would do the inference, the regular inference, obviously here with the correct name, and then I'll do the transformation or kind of the nicer bookkeeping. Okay, then let's put that to our whisper model. Import pandas as pd. From whisper, we also need to import that one. Mm. Not sure whether I did something wrong, for example, this one. No, needs to be there. Whisper infuriates with tag means tf. In my view, everything looks okay ish. So let's just restart this one. I kind of kill that. So, can we not import that? And yeah, it did work. Okay, and now we need to apply this model once. Uh, ah, okay, and that was a problem if we have it still in memory here. Let's call that F name. It's F name. And then um, check once DF. And let's see whether it works, I would say. Um, we have the short one, we see the progress bar, and we should hopefully see the, a good overview of all our inputs. Yeah, uh, outputs. Okay, because the time will help us to match a certain text to a certain speaker, eventually. So that's kind of good enough for now. Let's do a bit of polishing, for example, let's set that index. Um, set index. I hope that's the way how it is done. I'll double check, but that's um, enough for now. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time.